Hey everybody, Joshua here with Johnny Appleseed Organic and today we're here to film the second part in our transforming a conventionally farmed olive grove into a sustainable climate farm. Today, we're gonna to be talking about swales and slowing, spreading, sinking, and storing water within the landscape. This is specifically important for this site and in climate farming because it's taking responsibility for the runoff and in, in the, uh, the nutrient flow off of this site and preventing it from going into a nearby creek. There are um, roughly 15 erosion gullies on this site that we're trying to mitigate. This back stretch is back 10 acres. There's around four or five of them that feed this swale system. And previously, this water had to travel three or 400 feet to, to leave the property. And now it has to travel over the distance of these swales, which each one of these swales is 1,500 to 2,000 feet long. In order to understand what we've done here, it's important to recognize what a swale actually is. The unglorified version of it is it's a ditch on contour. But contour line is a level line in elevation. So you're following a level line in elevation, making a ditch to catch water and distribute water and pacify it through the landscape in a way that you want to. So here we are at one of our highest catchment points for the water coming off of around 25 acres down through this erosion gully into the, the swale itself. So we had a rain recently, and this is all from the rain right here. And the water is stopped here and is forced across a contour line over to the ridges. This pipe right here, this is a, uh, a swivel pipe that I need to lubricate so it's not quite uh, as easily turned as it should be right now. But you can take this off and or you can swivel it over like that, and that will um, determine the height of your swale. So in large rain events, when you have to move water through the system a little bit quicker, this allows you to do that. So we're here on the back side of our top swale on, at the end of the swivel pipe. So this swivel pipe is just a four inch piece of PVC, PVC pipe that has a 90 degree elbow on it. And when water comes, to, reaches a certain level, or we take that elbow off, it comes out of here and into our next swale. We're down at the bottom swale now. And this bottom swale is the last point of water catchment before the water leaves the site. And like I said, because of the fact that we're getting so much water in our catchment area for, the, for these swales is exponentially larger than the holding capacity for the swales, we, we're only trying to slow the water before it leaves the site and catch as much of the nutrient as we possibly can and store it on our site. The goal with these is to develop a, a mostly unirrigated, sustainable agroforestry system in this area. For this project, we used a Caterpillar 308 uh, excavator with a tilt coupler on the bucket. And this project took about two months. We averaged, I'd probably say six to seven hours a day on the machine. I would say this project is right in the range of 10 acres. It might be slightly closer to 12. So the first step for us on this project was to determine our points of water entry. And that those were the erosion gullies. So we used a transit and set up our transit at the, the point of entry, the highest point of entry that we felt comfortable holding water in. This project had a very specific constraint associated with it, and that is we can't hold water as high as we want to because of the olive trees. Olive trees don't like standing water, so I would have liked to hold water as high up in the catchment as we possibly could, but because there's olive trees here at, on this specific part of the property, there's not much that we could have done. So now that this part of the, of the project is complete, we are pacifying some of the water that's, that is coming off of the site. We are not pacifying all of the water. 
that'll start to happen once we put in more earthworks. This is pretty much the beginning of the earthworks on this site. The goal of this section back here isn't necessarily to catch all of the water. Because the catchment for these swales is so large, it's exponentially larger than their holding capacity. We, we do have to let some of the water uh, off of the site. But in the future, when we're digging more swales and putting in more check dams and gabions and things of that nature, it'll start to pacify the water on other parts of the property, which will reduce the, the pressure on these swales here. Thank you for joining us. If you like what you saw, stick around because we're gonna be doing lots more earthworks and lots more projects associated with this olive grove. If you wanna see more, follow us on all of our social medias, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.